the same amount, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Okay. Then what? Okay. Not only are we providing these kids with um, a fun way of learning technology, but they're also, um, what we do is we force the students to work with kids from other towns. So they're not working in groups from Columbus Grove kids are not working with other Columbus Grove kids. They're working from kids with Lipsick and Ottawa and Pandora. So that they actually get to um, know kids outside of um, their town that are interested in the same thing they are. So I need to turn, need to turn it right. Moving and turning right. So right now it's moving forward. So we're going to roll So we're going to do it together. We want to turn. Backwards. So that it turns. It goes up in the air. Okay. I think the kids most enjoy the fact that they're now being introduced to technologies that they did not even know existed. Um, we see that it, it's a variety. Some of them really like doing video, video editing. Some of them really like doing video game development. Some of them like to do graphic design. Um, so um, if you read the blog, you will find that a lot of them, it's all over the board. But we, have, we do not have one student that has ever turned around and said, we don't like this. I do not like this. Keep going. There you go. Now you can see a little bit better, right? Not much play. Let's try it. If your son or daughter is interested in the computer and why you think they're sitting there just playing a video game, ask them what they've created today and, and start start questioning what they're actually building because it, it, the mentality could, could shift two ways. It could be this is another video game console for me or this is something where I can be creative and build things. I'd love to see that happen because who knows, one of these kids could be the next Bill Gates. You just don't know unless you give them the opportunity.